Hi, I'm Libby Wallace, CEO of the AVMA Group Health and Life Insurance Trust. This past year has ushered in an era of immense change in the healthcare industry. The driving force behind this change was the passage of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and Healthcare Education Reconciliation Act of 2010. The intent of healthcare reform is to reduce healthcare costs, improve the quality and efficiency of healthcare services, and expand the access to care for all Americans. We've supported these ideals since the trust began in 1957. The nine trustees, who are all AVMA members, along with our business partners, monitor the health care and insurance industries. By doing this, we're able to offer the most comprehensive benefits to AVMA members. Our goals are to offer the best selection of benefits at the most affordable price. For many years prior to health care reform, the GHLIT medical plans have offered individuals guaranteed issue coverage that was portable from job to job and covered your dependents up to age 26. Effective January 1st, we implemented benefit enhancements mandated by the new law. For example, the removal of lifetime and calendar year maximums for essential benefits. The GHLIT put these provisions into effect with little disruption to our existing membership or our new business. But the reform mandates don't stop in 2011. Through the combined efforts of our business partners, the GHLIT will keep you informed of potential reform legislation and how it affects you every step of the way. For over 50 years, our administrative expenses have been well below the industry. Keeping these costs down helps keep our premium rates competitive. The mission of the AVMA GHLIT is to serve the profession by providing quality health, life, disability, and related insurance services to specifically meet the needs of veterinarians. We are committed to providing coverage that exceeds industry and legal standards. Whatever the future brings, we will do what is necessary to stay true to our mission and, most importantly, veterinarians.